Annie had just moved into her dream house, a beautiful Victorian mansion. Her husband, Mark, had been promoted at work, which gave them the means to buy the house they'd always wanted. The mansion was everything they'd imagined. Grand, spacious, and mysterious. Mark was away on a business trip, leaving Annie to settle into their new home. One night, she heard a faint scratching noise coming from the attic. Unable to ignore it, she decided to investigate. Grabbing a flashlight, she slowly made her way up the creaking stairs. The attic was dusty and filled with old furniture and trinkets. As Annie moved her flashlight around the room, the beam of light caught a shadow that seemed out of place. It didn't match any of the objects in the attic. It was the shape of a tall, gaunt figure with long arms reaching out towards her. Startled, Annie quickly turned around, but there was nothing behind her. Unsettled, she returned to her bedroom and tried to dismiss the incident as her imagination. She decided not to mention it to Mark when he called that night. He would be back soon, and there was no need to worry him. The next day, Annie busied herself with unpacking and arranging their belongings. She noticed that objects seemed to move on their own. She'd place a vase on a table, only to find it across the room moments later. Shadows appeared to dance on the walls, but whenever she tried to confront them, they disappeared. Mark returned a few days later, and Annie confided in him about the strange occurrences. He was skeptical, but agreed to inspect the attic with her that night. They climbed the stairs together, and when they reached the attic, Mark saw the strange shadow for himself. This time, however, it was closer. Was. He examined the area where the shadow seemed to originate, but could find no explanation. As they left the attic, the scratching noise began again, louder than before. Mark, disturbed by the sound, resolved to find the source. Annie was increasingly frightened, but Mark was determined to uncover the cause. They visited the local library to research the history of their house. What they found was chilling. The mansion had a dark past. A century ago, a man named Edgar lived there. He was a practitioner of the occult and had been rumored to have made a pact with a shadowy entity in exchange for otherworldly knowledge. Edgar vanished without a trace, but it was said that his shadow remained, haunting the attic and growing stronger with each passing year. Realizing the danger they were in, Annie and Mark consulted with a psychic who specialized in banishing malevolent spirits. She performed a cleansing ritual, attempting to rid the house of the sinister presence. For a moment, it seemed to work. The scratching noises ceased and the shadows retreated. But that night, as they lay in bed, the noises returned, more violent and insistent than before. The room grew colder, and Annie saw the shadowy figure standing at the foot of their bed. She screamed, but Mark couldn't move, paralyzed by an unseen force. Annie scrambled for the phone, desperate to contact the psychic, but as she dialed the number, the line went dead. The temperature in the room plummeted, and the shadow loomed larger, engulfing the walls and ceiling. The darkness grew impenetrable, and Mark's screams were swallowed by the abyss. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. The room returned to normal, but Mark was gone, leaving only a shadow in his place, identical to the one they had seen in the attic. Annie was now alone in the house, her husband taken by the very darkness they had tried to banish. Weeks went by, and Annie, heartbroken and terrified, struggled to find a way to bring Mark back. The psychic, feeling responsible for the tragic outcome, offered her assistance. Together, they delved deeper into the world of the occult, searching for answers in ancient tomes and contacting other experts in the field. Their research led them to a forbidden ritual, one that could potentially sever the connection between the shadow entity and Mark. The price was steep, as the ritual required a sacrifice. Desperate, Annie agreed to pay whatever it took to save her husband. With everything in place, they performed the ritual under a moonless sky. The house shook, and the air grew thick with tension. As they chanted the ancient incantations, the shadow in the attic writhed and contorted, screaming in fury. 
The darkness seemed to be ripped apart, and in that moment, Mark reappeared, disoriented and weak. The shadow entity, furious at its defeat, attempted to lash out, but the ritual had weakened it significantly. Annie and the psychic managed to complete the banishment, sending the entity back to the darkness from whence it came. Mark, with no recollection of his time in the shadows, struggled to make sense of what had happened. The psychic advised them to leave the house, as the connection to the entity could never be fully severed. Reluctantly, they agreed, knowing that their dream home was forever tainted by darkness. Annie and Mark moved far away from the Victorian mansion, but the memory of their ordeal would always linger. Though they found happiness in a new home, the fear of shadows never quite left them. The mansion remained empty, waiting for its next occupants, and the shadow in the attic lay dormant, biding its time until it could once again feed on the fear and darkness in the hearts of those who dared to dwell within its walls.